Hi everyone. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can use your calculator now to answer uh, a question, a trigonometric equation here, uh, where the answers are given in general form. Okay, so here's the question. The general solution of the equation 2 sine of theta equals negative 1 in radians is. Okay, and here are our options. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to take this equation and set, bring it Sorry, I forgot the one. I'm going to bring everything over to one side. Then I'm going to enter it into the calculator in my y equals. So, okay, y equals uh, 2 sine of x, close brackets, plus 1. Okay, now I could uh, plot this. I could look for all the solutions. I could, I could check that. Uh, but actually, I'm going to try something a little different here. I'm going to test each of these solutions. Now, the way I'm going to do this, okay, is I'm actually going to go into my table set, so second window, and what I'm going to do here to test that first set of solutions here, I'm going to make my table start at 7 pi over 6, and you'll see here in the in the option here A that it's going up by multiples of pi, so what I'm going to do in my delta table is I want my delta table to go up by pi, and now when I go into my table of values what I'm expecting, or what I'm hoping to see, is a whole list of zeros here, because that would mean that what I've listed off here is a whole bunch of solutions. Now notice here that I'm getting 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2. Okay, so this is not the correct answer. Okay, so I can move on here. Now, nice thing about the problem that I, that I chose here is this kind of helps us out a little bit. I've already shown that this is not true, so that means automatically that B, because B is including that thing, B cannot be true either. So what that does is that pushes us down to C. We're going to test C. So I go back into my window, my t I'm sorry, my table set, second window, table set. Uh, I'm still starting with 7 pi over 6. I've already got that entered, but this time I'm going up by 2 pi, not pi. So I'm going to come in down here to delta table, and I'm going to change that to 2 pi. Press enter, and then I go back to my table of values. So second graph gets me the table of values. Ah, and look at that whole bunch of zeros here. Excellent. That's exactly what I was looking for. But that does not necessarily mean that this is the answer because take a look and when you're answering questions like this you always got to look at what the other options are because there might be something that's a little bit more general and in this case here notice that D has the same value as C so I know that it works here so this is definitely a possibility but if this part works as well then the answer is definitely D. So I have to go back into my table set menu, and this time I have to change what I'm starting with. I've got to change that to 11 pi divide by 6. Okay, it's still going up by 2 pi, so I can leave that. And now I go back to my graph there, and actually I'm glad this showed up here. Uh, when you see something like that, that is the calculator's way of saying zero. Uh, that just means that it had a hard time um, in the amount of time it was given to get exactly to zero. So negative 1 e to the negative 12, uh, just interpret that as a zero if you see that. And that's exactly what I wanted. That tells me that both the parts of the solution here work. The answer to this problem is D.